The inspiration for this book actually came with a phone call from Dr. Dorothy Evanson at the Penn State College of Education, who called me to um, assess my interest in doing a qualitative study with her about how African Americans successfully navigate the pipeline to the legal profession. We were both concerned with the dwindling numbers of African Americans entering the legal profession, and so we wanted to do a study to assess what interventions might be appropriate to aid more African Americans in becoming lawyers. One of the things that makes it really precarious for many African Americans is that they uh, come from backgrounds where they don't have educational advantage. And uh, if you've done your, your K through 12 segment of the pipeline in an educational environment that doesn't afford you equal educational opportunity, then you're at a disadvantage in competing for seats in law school and ultimately in college and throughout the segments of the pipeline. Not one person in the study perceived affirmative action as harmful, and in fact the overwhelming majority of participants perceived affirmative action as a positive, helpful policy that helped them navigate the pipeline to the bar, and many of them actually said that without affirmative action they probably would not have achieved uh, the status of lawyer. So what we learned was that um, it was really the negative stereotypes associated with their racial identity with blackness that caused people to doubt their um, academic standing or their academic abilities rather than the policy of affirmative action itself. African American students still face challenges related to race when they're in law school. Interestingly enough, um, these challenges were not shared with us from African Americans who attended historically black law schools. Um, for those who attend predominantly white institutions, there are many challenges with respect to race. The primary challenge is that their peers and many educators perceive them as intellectually inferior and that they internalize that and they begin to wonder whether they can achieve. Um, and it becomes um, what Claude Steele has, has termed the stereotype threat. It becomes a, a barrier, a hurdle, an obstacle to their achievement. Um, so one of the things that, that law students can do, um, and one of the things that we learn that they do, in fact do, at predominantly white institutions, is to support one another. And so um, BALSA, uh, affinity groups, become a very important component of the educational process for minority students. I, I think the most important thing that teachers um, should know about working recognition is that they have so much power. Uh, so many of our participants identified a single phrase from a teacher that motivated them to overcome a moment of crisis, a crisis in confidence when they wondered whether they were able to achieve. Uh, and so many of them talked about how this one phrase of encouragement from a teacher stuck with them and resonated with them and really carried them through so that they were able to have that confidence in themselves that was necessary to make it to the next level.